Good morning, everybody. It's Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Thursday. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. All right, everybody. Dun, dun, dun. Today is Thursday. It's January 21st, and it's day one. Like, we're number one, day one. And uh, just wanted to uh, remind everybody, you know, you're working really hard. Keep up the good work with the uh, iReady diagnostic. I think uh, there are many folks who finished their reading already. There was only an hour. But they broke it up into nice little chunks. Uh, if you didn't finish, you'll probably finish sometime this week. And uh, there are some folks who are starting their math. Keep up the good work with that. And there are some folks doing dibbles testing. Some folks really working hard. I really, really appreciate it. Keep up the good work. And remember to keep reading for fun because it's a lot of fun to read a good book, you know, every night before you go to bed or, um, you know, maybe like on a Saturday afternoon or something like that, or when you get home from school, it's always good to keep improving your mind. And the more you read, the better you're going to get. All right. What else is going on? Oh, yes. We've had several uh, comments from some parents and some students and some staff saying, hey, Dr. G, what's going on with the car rider line? Well, Glad you asked. So there's a lot going on with the car rider line. So this year, we have seven kindergarten classes, six first grade, and six second grade. When I think I first got here, we only had five classes in each grade level. So we're, we've expanded considerably. Um, also, this is really good news. More and more kids are feeling comfortable coming back instead of being on D1. So I think uh, yesterday we only had like 7% of our kids ab absent. That's great. And if you're still on D1, that's fine. That's your choice between you and your parents. But more and more of our Hoover Hawks are coming back every day. And there's also some parents who, you know, it's cold outside. You know, they don't want their kids to walk um, or for whatever reason, they don't want their kid to wait at the bus stop or something like that. So because there are so many more kids here, coming back to school. And because we have more folks who are doing car rider instead of uh, taking the bus, we are seeing large numbers of cars in the car rider lines. So parents, you know, we just have to work together to make this work. I, I'm pretty confident that we can. Even on the worst couple of days that we've had with just lots of people, um, the, the last car was pulling out at like 342, 343. And really, dismissal should be at 335. So we're actually doing a pretty good job. But I get the fact that a lot of people have a lot of important places to go after school. A lot of kids are like, hey, mom, hey, dad, I really want to get home and do some more eye ready. I really want to do some homework. Um, but we want to make sure that everybody is safe. And we want to make sure it's a joyful experience for everyone. So um, please, 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 uh, you know, we've got some folks who come at like 3 o'clock, even though dismissal is not till 335. And we have other folks who come at 335. And then we have some folks who, you know, come at five or six. And um, it's best if you're coming that you always pull up as far as you can because we want to, you know, work together. We want to have as many cars as possible on the blacktop. So if you're one of the first people here, if you could move all the way up to the orange cones, that would be great. If you come in and all of the orange cones seem to have someone there, if you could move up as close as you can. We know we still have some people who like to kind of hang back at the fence, hang back at the D-wing door, the C-wing door. Um, it's just really hard for the cars to get around you. So we're really asking if you could move up. And don't forget that there's a whole lane over near the building. And usually there's only one car in that lane. So if we don't block access in the back, all of those cars that are coming in at the last minute will be able to park over near the building. If for some reason um, we're short staffed, which happens, and by the way, if anybody's looking for a you know, wonderful opportunity to work with the best kids in the whole world, we are hiring. 
for practically every position. So you should apply online or send me an email with your resume because we'd love to have you as a substitute recess aide or lunch aide or teacher. Um, but if we're short staffed, I'm often doing five or six different things and I can't be there at three o'clock to try and remind people like, hey, please move up, please move up. Usually if I'm there, uh, things work smooth as silk. Um, but I will work with my staff. We'll see what we can do to have somebody out there. And if somebody is out there, please just follow their directions. They're not trying to give you a hard time. They're just trying to make sure that everybody can fit on the playground. And we want to make sure that we don't have kids constantly, kids and parents, crossing in front of lanes where traffic's moving. Okay. We just want it to be a safe and joyful experience for everyone. And I get it. You know, um, I read in the paper the other day there is this pandemic going on. There's an economic depression going on. There's lots of stuff going on. Um, so let's just really try and be calm and courteous. And no matter how frustrated we are, let's not beep at anybody. I'm sure many of the people who are beeping are really trying to say, beep, 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 beep. Hey, Dr. G, how you doing? You're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. But um, some people are misinterpreting that and they're thinking that people are beeping at them because maybe they parked the wrong way or they're not moving fast enough or they didn't buckle their get in their seatbelt fast enough. So let's just not do any beeping because that's just going to make some people feel uncomfortable and feel like, you know, um, not respected. And we just don't want that to happen. So feel free to wave to me if you want to say that, hey, Dr. G, you're doing a great job. No need to beep. Because like I said, some people, you know, just misinterpret that. Have a great day, everybody. And don't forget our D1 or our virtual students are going to be here on Friday if they signed up, if they want, and if they're healthy. Uh, for um, our picture makeup day. Um, still getting a lot of parent phone calls saying, you know, hey, what about the other pictures? Did they ever come in? Yes, they came in a long time ago. So if you haven't yet received your picture for your child, please uh, email or call your child's teacher. They should be able to help you with that. And uh, we also dun, 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 want a quick reminder, we're still looking for the faces of Hoover and the faces of Hoover need to be wearing their masks covering the nose, you know, over the mouth and everything. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.